Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol AKTX. We will take a look at the 15 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 15 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 15 minutes. So while this here may look like a few weeks worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 15 minute time slices. I like you this time, Frampton has a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I don't mean to say it the obvious, but I will anyways. Monster move today, not only from the price action perspective, but you look down here at the volume. I uh, actually alerted in the chat room. I suppose late is better than never. I uh, alerted it right around the 315 mark before that huge breakout happened. And then, yeah, of course, it just kind of goes sideways the remainder of the day. And then all of a sudden, the final 15 minutes hit it, and you can see the price uh, exploded back upwards. I know after hours, it's actually gone up a little bit higher, and then it's kind of been all over the place. But as of right now, uh, you know, that's kind of the tricky part. You have after hours today, today being Wednesday, then you have pre market tomorrow being Thursday. So where oh where is this thing going to open up? I don't know. Nobody knows. But you know, let's kind of just map out some levels and with the data that we have right now. So the first level of support and I'm kind of talking out loud because I will definitely be watching this one tomorrow. So I guess, uh, you know, this is uh, welcome to inside my mind here. But as far as levels of support, the first level of support that stands out uh, is just based on a foundational rule in charting, which states when levels of resistance are broken and closed above, you want to see them act as support and they tend to act as support. So for a, a vast majority of the day, right up around 565, give or take a few cents was that level of resistance. But with the final 15 minutes, the price did get up above there. And you know that is where you know, like I said, that level would now be considered an area of support. Now, is that a guarantee to hold a, hold as support? No, there's no such thing as a guarantee. But like I said, as far as you know, if there are any pullbacks, then you know that would be an area to keep an eye on as far as that initial area of support. In the event the price falls below there, the next key overarching level of support. And I should note that these are not like great discoveries on my part. I assure you anybody that understands you and uses charts is watching the exact same thing. And the next key overall level of support being down here at $4 and 50 cents. I mean, you can see a whole bunch of times the price hovered right around 450 and the bulls did do a good job of holding strong. So clearly some buyers down around there at the 450 mark. So again, from a support standpoint, if there are some pullbacks, 565 that initial level and then $4.50 after that. If the price just keeps on going upwards, well then at that point, kind of just got to use your gut instincts uh, as far as you know potential areas of resistance. Uh, out of curiosity, where is this one at right now? So after hours right now, the price is uh, you know, up at over 650 right now. Again, is that where it's gonna open up? I don't know, but it's looking like the price very well could uh, you know, easily open up above $6 at that point. But nonetheless, that doesn't change the fact that these would still be a couple areas of resist, or excuse me, support going forward. But all in all, all I know is that I know I'm gonna be watching this one on Thursday, so let's see how it plays out. But these are definitely gonna be a couple key technical levels from the support side. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.